Okay, so here we are given an uh, RC circuit and uh, it says the switch is, switch was closed for a long time. And then at equal to zero, we open it and then uh, we, we need to find IC and IX. And for in this case, um, for IC and IX, a table is given. And at the table, we only need to, to know the value at zero plus and infinity. So basically we need to find four values. For IC at Z plus, zero plus and infinity and IX zero plus and infinity. Okay, and then the next part is to find the tau the time constant for T greater equal to zero plus. Okay, sounds good. So let's start from uh, what happens before the switching. So the switch was closed for a long time. So for T um, less than zero, um, less than zero, which also we can say for T basically, because that, that's the moment that we care, like just before the switching. So we can also say uh, zero minus um, what has been the circuit. So the switch was closed. So here, this was closed. So if this is closed, then this 2K will be shorted. So, um, and then also the capacitor will be open because it's a steady state under DC, this will be open. So the only thing that we have is we have this 30 volt, we have this 6K, we have this 4K, then this is shorted. And uh, the capacitor is also open here. Okay, so based on that, therefore, um, what is the, and this is, uh, so this is the voltage across the capacitor. And this is I X. Okay, very good. So let's look at the, voltage here at zero minus the voltage here. So the voltage here from here to here is basically the voltage across this 4K, right? This is across the 4K. And so the whole thing looks like a voltage division. So that 30 volt, and then you have 6K and 4K in series. So therefore we can say we see at zero minus is equal to 4K divided by 4K plus 6K times 30 volt, which is um, 4 divided by 10 and 12. So this is the voltage of capacitor at zero minus, but then as you know, the capacitor keeps the voltage so that it cannot be a sudden change in the voltage of the capacitor. So the voltage of capacitor will be carried forward from zero minus to zero plus. So we see at zero plus is also 12 volt. And then at t equal to zero, the switch is open. So we open the switch. So let's look at <clears throat> t equal to zero plus. We have the 30 volt, 6K, the capacitor, which uh, its voltage is 12 volt. They're looking at zero plus. And then we have the 4K. Oh, and then the switch was open. So that part is open. And then we have the 2K. Okay, very good. So we would like to know, um, because we are interested as you see IC and IX, now let's look at the, for example, I, so this is, this is IX at zero plus, and this is IC at zero plus. Okay, very good. So here we take advantage of the fact that we know here the voltage across the capacitor was 12 volts, and then this is 30 volts. So if you look at the six, KO, the current 
I x as u plus is 30 minus 12. Plus this, if this is ground, let's say this is exactly 12 volt, and this is exactly 30 volt. So 30 minus 12 divided by 6k becomes 18 divided by 6k, 3 million. Okay, very good. So the current here is yeah. Now <clears throat> we can also find the current here because again we have the voltage of the here is 12 volts. So if I call this here, let's say I2. So I2 at zero plus is the voltage 12 volt divided by the 4k plus 2k. 4k plus 2k. Everybody agrees. Here we have 12 volt, here I have zero. 12 minus zero divided by the series of 2k and 4k, 6k. So 12 volt divided by 6k gives me 2 milliamp. Okay. 2 milliamp. So now we can definitely guess the IC plus because why? Because at this node, three milliamp is coming, two milliamp is going this way, and then IC zero plus is three minus two, right? You can write the ABL here. So one, maybe. three is entering, and then one and two is exiting. And so therefore I C at zero plus is three minus two one million. Okay, very good. So now if we cut the table, now we have two elements of that. I C at zero plus, which is one million. I C at zero plus is one million, and I X at zero plus is three million. Okay. Now we need to find these values at infinity. Okay. So P at infinity. Let's see what happens to our circuit. So the switch here was open, but also the circuit become the, the capacitor becomes open. So basically what I have is at infinity, we have the 30 volt, we have the 6K, we have the 4K. The switch is open to have the 3K. That's IX and that's IC. IC is across the capacitor, which because the capacitor is open, so basically that's zero. So IC at infinity equal to zero. How about IX at infinity? IX is just, you have 30 volts across all these three capacitors. Four, six plus four plus two. 6K plus 4K plus 2K which is 12K, so 30 divided by um, 12, 2.5 million. 2.5 million. Okay, very good, so I can finish the table here. So at infinity, IC is equal to zero. And Ix is 2.5. So next part of the problem says find the tau for t greater equal to zero. Okay. 
So, so basically you need to, for finding tau, you need to look at the R equivalent from the point of view of the capacitor, but also uh, let's look at the switch. So T greater equals zero, the switch is open. So the circuit that you have basically, and also remember um, for finding the R equivalent, you need to basically zero the independent sources. So therefore to find R equivalent here, you definitely zero independent sources. So therefore you just short this voltage source 30 volts, and then you have 6K, You have 6K and the capacitor. Okay, I can still keep it. But then there's a 4K and then there's a 2K. So 4K and 2K are 6K. So this is a circuit, but then I want to know the R equivalent from the point of view of this capacitor. So what this capacitor sees is this resistor is in parallel with this resistor. So therefore R equivalent is 6K in parallel with 6K, which is 3K. And tau is R equivalent times C. So 3K times the amount of the capacitance, which is two microfarad, two microfarad. That gives me six. Then there's the K 10 to the power of three micro 10 to the power of negative six. So multiplication of that gives me 10 to the power of minus three, which is milli second. So the tau is uh, three milli, uh, six millisecond. Okay, good. Right. And then I added the third part to the question. It says a sketch the variation of V of C. So basically you need to plot VCT by showing the initial value, final value, and the duration of the transient. Okay, so let's look at this very closely. So to so as far as we see, so I need to know the initial voltage, which is this one. We have the VC, zero plus is 12 volts. And how about the final value? The final value, if you look at the, this circuit, which was T infinity, Basically, this is this is like as if it was a capacitor which was open, right? So this is we see at infinity, basically. So what is this voltage? Uh, it's a simple voltage division, right? So if this voltage is across this 4K and 2K. So therefore, I can write here, we see at infinity is 4 plus 2, which is 6. I write it here, 4K plus 2K, this voltage divided by that voltage plus 6K. 4K plus 2K plus 6K times 30. 6 divided by 12 times 30, which is 15 volts. So we see at infinity is 15 volts. So let me just collect all the information that I have here. So I have, um, we see at zero plus was 12 volt. We see at infinity is 15 volt. And also I know my tau is six millisecond. Okay. So this plot looks like this. So if you look at VC at all times. So we always start from the <clears throat> T 
t equal to zero. So I start from 12 volt. So at t equal to zero, exactly is 12. And then you look at infinity. At infinity, it goes to 15 volts. So here it goes up, actually, 15 volts. And that's the final voltage. So I start from here and ends there. Okay. And now there's something new here that it says, look at here. So we show, if we show the initial value, final value, the duration of the transient, okay? So one thing that we assume um, is that for duration of trans, transient, duration of transient, we approximate it by usually 5 tau. So as you see, like one, two, three, four, almost five. Five tau. And I know my tau is six millisecond. So my five tau in this example is five times six thirty millisecond. So therefore, this question expect you to say, okay, start from 12 and around five tau, which is 30 millisecond, it reached to the 15 volt. This is the final value. So this is one thing important that the duration of transition, we can approximate it almost with five tops. 